Hey guys, so, uh, before I start the video, I would just like to point out the fact that there are two different strains of tobacco. Nicotania tabacum, or common tobacco, is a variety of tobacco which has around 2-4% to nicotine content and grows 6 feet tall. It is the tobacco used to make, uh, cigarettes, since although it doesn't have the largest amount of nicotine, uh, in it, it is the largest plant, so it has the best production. And there's another variety, though, called Nicotania rustica. It only grows, like, two feet tall, and it has, like, twice as much nicotine. And, uh, that's the type that I'm gonna be using, since I'm gonna be doing a chemical nicotine extraction for my experiment. And, uh, it's smaller, so I can actually grow it indoors. So, yeah. The downside is that it needs a longer growing season, which is why I'm trans... I'm planning it indoors so early, so yeah, just wanted to give you guys that heads up. Uh, and you might be wondering why I'm growing it in the first place, and that's just because I have some interesting experiments to do with, like, um, organic, uh, extraction, chemical extraction, and I want to see, like, how you can chemically extract certain chemicals from plants, primarily nicotine, and yeah, I just want to kind of get a, uh, just giving you a heads up on why I'm like growing it and I think that would be like a cool experiment to try so yeah that's about it to get a fluorescent grow light set up in your basement or some other secluded room in your house you can buy these at Home Depot as fluorescent uh, warehouse lighting or some other type of lighting just make sure it's like fluorescent lighting since that's relatively natural and also cheap so yeah you can also use halide bulbs if you really want to Although there is one downside to halide bulbs, which I will talk about in a future video. It's a kind of funny story, actually. Here's a tub of potting soil. And I'm going to use some water to water it down just a little bit. Not very much water at all. Really not very much at all. And now you see what I've got right here is some seeds. This is uh, tobacco seeds and I bought them online and I'm going to do a little experiment with them. Uh, I will reveal the experiment in a little bit but nonetheless uh, watch this. Now you see the seeds are very tiny. They're very similar. I think they're in the same family as mustard. So yeah, the seeds are very similar to like mustard seeds, they're very small. And when I've seeded other plants, such as pumpkins, the seeds have been big, and I have been able to seed them onto um, paper towels. But unfortunately, that's not a thing that I can really do with these, so what you gotta do with tobacco is this. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the seeds and I'm taking pinches of them, and... I'm basically just like rubbing them onto the soil. And yeah, that's pretty much all of the seeds. All couple hundred seeds. Um, and this will actually require quite a bit of maintenance. For the simple reason that, uh... Oh dang, you're really not supposed to mess with... I made a mistake. You're really not supposed to mess with the soil. Because you can screw up the seeds and like make it so that they're not at the top. So dang it, I kind of screwed that one up. To water them and create minimal uh, problems watering, I'm using like a spritzer bottle, similar to what you'd like use to cool yourself down on a hot summer day. Yeah, so that's the end of the video. Now all that's really left to do is wait. But wait, there's more. For the past few weeks, uh, I completely lost my phone for like three weeks. I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, so let me explain basically what happened. So uh, this one where I planted in dirt, nothing sprouted because it's dirt. And I learned that you're not supposed to sprout tobacco in dirt uh, online after reading. So I took the rest of the seeds and I sprouted them in here. And I got a lot of sproutlings. But soon, mold took over because there's not very good circulation in the basement. Well, actually, there weren't. I had them down here, so what I had to do is I had to put it on top of a paint tray, right? Paint can, uh, and 
get it up nice and close to the light and I also had to add a Ziploc bag onto it to uh, keep the moisture in the best I could so yeah that was the entire setup and yeah uh, yeah that's about it just wanted to let you in on that and now I've taken yeah these sproutlings uh, this plant was the one that looked the best so I transplanted it into here and what you want to do with these plants is you want to keep them as close to the light source as humanly possible so yeah I learned that online they really weren't sprouting and then I watched a YouTube video and I kept them as close and you also want to keep a bag over them like that uh, those ones I accidentally planted in dirt you're supposed to plant them in starter seed starter which I did in this one uh, and yeah that worked out a lot better these are my four next best plants I want to get at least two plants so I took my best plant and my four next best plants and yeah I'm gonna put these in some sort of container kinda like this so that I can like fill this with water and there's holes at the bottom so that uh, they can get watered by uh, hydration gradient so yeah that is my plan I've got four my four my best plant in this setup and my four next best plants in this other setup so yeah that's about it I'm gonna finish setting them up I'm gonna like put them in one of these maybe a little taller and put a bag over it and that'll be it so yeah hope you enjoyed it's been like two and a half weeks since I set them up and see you in the next video so as you can see all the plants are hooked up in here and now it's pretty much time to water them you can water it from the bottom so you don't have to water them as often i used to have to spritz them down like every other couple days or else they'd start dying because it would become too dry for them and all the moisture would build up in the bottom of the plastic bag i'm hoping this won't happen this time yeah okay there's a nice uh, bit of water coating the bottom uh I could water them a bit more, although I don't really see the point. It's getting nice and absorbed up into there. It'll absorb once the humidity starts to build up even better. So yeah, I think that's good enough for now. I might water them in a few days a bit more if they're doing well. Also, since there was fungus killing the plants, uh, I decided to experiment and add a little bit of Michelinzel fungus foot cream to each of the uh each of these because you see the foot cream contains myconzel nitrate which is like antifungal and it kills athlete's foot but it also kills most other funguses out there so i added just a little bit just to see if this helps with the uh fungus problems since there is some fungus problems with these plants so yeah now that i have set up a humidity gradient in the form of a plastic bag it's just time to wait uh, I suggest if you're going to set up a humidity gradient like this to check on it every day because sometimes it can pop and it can harm the plant's leaves when it does so. So, yeah, just check on it every few days. Make sure this bag hasn't, like, popped or something. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video. Only a day after adding the fungal powder, I can also, I can already see almost all of the fungus on the leaves clear up and the plants are doing better. I think this is because I replanted them there were a lot of plants in this but they kept dying and like there was a mass die off and most of the plants died uh that's why like i transplanted them and that might not have been as much due to mold as it was due to overcrowding so yeah uh but the plants are looking a lot better in this setup and i think i'm gonna leave them here for the next few weeks and just water them and do everything you need to do to keep plants alive in this setup and yeah, I'll check in on this in a few weeks. Every day I turn the light on and off, day and night. I give them, them a little bit extra sunlight, so like, I give them an hour or two extra of sunlight just so that they grow fast. But yeah, they're doing really well, and it seems like the experiment is right on track.